okay so here we go against the sicilian defense i'm going to be playing my new system which i recommended in my previous video on the staunton c4 oh e6 my opponent is planning to go pawn to d5 so knight to c3 knight e2 planning to go to the f4 square okay knight e7 is planning to go pawn to d5 but i have knight to f4 stopping that pawn to d5 if pawn to g5 i'm going to play knight h5 wow knight h5 with an intention of checkmating my opponent on f6 if he goes let's say pawn to d5 and that's what he did <laughs> okay so that that one was too quick <laughs> so i just checkmated my opponent in less than how many moves maybe less than eight i don't know <laughs> let's have another game hopefully it's going to be the sicilian i'm playing against bimbowski 21 27 e4 c5 oh the sicilian so we go point to c4 again controlling the d5 square this is this was not i did not expect this point to e5 so still eyeing the d5 square so now this will mirror the botvinic english so you can see we just finished uh creating that pawn chain on the center if s6 remember always play pawn to f4 because the idea is that black wants to go rook b8 and then pawn to b5 so that's why i've played pawn to f4 pawn f4 i mean and then g3 just trying to fiancaro my bishop on the g2 square so bishop g2 next i'll castle shot and put my king on h2 he was supposed to go bishop i mean he was supposed to go pawn to g3 maybe trying to fiancaro his bishop so my plan is to go to the h2 square i also have plans to put my bishop on the e3 square and to go to the f2 remember what i said in my last video okay knight a5 by black king h2 is also on the plate i guess i should play pawn to b3 holding on to my queen side pawns see how my pawns are sitting on the light squares i guess i should take with my a pawn on b5 yes a takes on b5 okay black also takes on b5 what am i going to do here if he takes i'll take pawn takes i'll take okay so knight to d5 ah uh, knight to d5 was it okay let's take with our pawn so now my pawn is defending that knight so should we take with our queen pawn or our king pawn okay if i take with my c pawn f5 by black won't be available because of my pawn on e4 i have ideas of putting my queen onto the c2 square eyeing the c4 square what is my opponent going to do even queen c8 king h2 as part of my plan what <laughs> okay so my opponent wow <laughs> i guess my opponent has abandoned the game so in the interest of time i'm just going to claim a draw or a win maybe i'm just going to claim a draw so you guys let me take this opportunity to ask you to subscribe to my channel so that i can keep on making more wonderful videos just like this one so there we are going to claim a draw maybe okay 
Okay, let's play another game. We are playing against a 2200 rated chess player. We play our system c4. If oh, e5. Wow. <laughs> so let's go d3. See how beautiful my pawns look. Knight to c3 is always on the plate. I'm going to stop d5. So first we go knight e2, then knight c3, I guess. Can we play knight c3? Yes. Pawn to e6, I have pawn to h3, preventing black from playing bishop g5 or knight to g5. So he just played bishop to e7, now g3, planning to fiancaro my bishop onto the g2 square, planning to castle on the next move. Knight to d4, castle, short. Plan is to go h2 at some point. Okay, whenever you see s6, guys, just like I said in my previous video, play a4. And that's what we've done. I do not care about... You know, I have plans of taking on d4 with my knight and putting my other knight on the d5 outpost. So, take. And then I'll put my other knight on d5. That's an outpost, guys. Okay, an outpost is more like a place where our knight cannot be attacked by our opponent's pawns. So plan is to go pawn to f4 and take on e5. Okay, knight takes on d5, pawn takes on d5. Plan is to go pawn to f4 still. b5 by black. What am I going to do even? Pawn to b5. Can we take? No, I'm not going to take. Maybe I should go f5 or b3 if he takes our take okay that's interesting this is interesting actually i have king to h2 and oh now i can go bishop where can i put my bishop can i play pawn to f5 now and then so that i can put my bishop on d2 i think that would be the way to go so my pawn on f5 will be protected by two pieces, the bishop and the rook. I also have intentions of going pawn to f4. So queen c7 by black, pawn to f4. Idea is just to break through the center. I'm not afraid of uh, the rook coming to the second rank. What am I going to do even? Okay, now the game is very tricky here, guys. Can I go queen h5? Yeah. Eyeing the f7 square. I also have bishop. To what? I can capture on f7, right? Yep. That's a check. And what else can I play? I also have intentions of mating at the back. Can I go rook? Is that a blunder? Did I just blunder that? I think that black didn't see it. So I take king h2 is always on the plate. That's the reason why I played h3 at first. Okay. Wow. Can I go bishop to g5? Because I have a back rank mate. If bishop takes. So I bet he's not going to take. Wow. That's easy. Take with the bishop or the rook. I think rook f6 rook takes on f6 mm -hmm. is the way to go and we are low on time guys i have a very bad internet connection now the the queen is gone black's queen is gone 
my internet is very poor today so let me just start blazing my opponent and of course I'm going to make a lot of poor moves but this is because my network is very bad and I'm also low on time so bishop takes queen takes check 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 point to e5 next let's just leave that room we create a room for our king check so I have initiative check check let's take his rook now I know these are not the best moves and the reason is simple I'm low on time and again my network is very bad so let me just meet him in a, in, in a most simplest way my network is very bad so we're just going to do that I know there was maybe some meeting three or so okay so we just won a game with our system that was one of the dirtiest end games thank you for watching guys